Welcome back, friends, to another episode of the GCK, which is the Global Crusade with Kumi. On this platform, we revisit God's acts of mercy and power at the Global Crusades. I encourage you to stick around and listen as God's vessel for these crusades ministers a quick word of hope and grace. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi is an international evangelist who has ministered to countless lives across the world over his 50-year ministry. In today's episodes, we will hear about God's exceeding power and desire to deliver. So stay tuned. Obey to be well. You know, all those people that Jesus spoke to, this man, look at this man, is blind. And then the Lord made clay and even closed their eyes and said, go wash in the pool of Siloam. And you will see. He didn't say, but you know I'm blind. And you tell me to go. And you didn't put anybody beside me to lead me and to guide me there. He just knew that if he obeyed, healing will come. As you obey tonight, you will be well. And then, look at this man, great man. Highly placed man, his name, Naaman. He had heard about the healing power that resided in the prophet in the land. And he went there. He went with his pride. He went with pomposity, whatever that is. He went with arrogance. And then he came in and said, It accommodates and accepts everything. But there's no blessing in the broad way. It's the narrow way of repentance and the narrow way of relying upon the Lord and the narrow way of following after the Lord Jesus Christ that leads to the blessing. Enter the narrow way. That's why tonight I'll be inviting you that you want to have Jesus as your leader as your savior, as your redeemer, and now you want to follow him in the way, and he doesn't, he doesn't trade in the broad way. He goes in the narrow way. I'll be inviting you. You're going to have the redeemer, the savior, and the healer, and the deliverer, and he's going on the narrow way, and you're going to follow him, and the moment you shoot up your hand and say, yes, I am here, I will follow Jesus from now, till the end I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back eternal life will come to you hello friends this is Paul Balash and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi now the S that's the final S will shake off the world the powers of the world you shake it off the sickness of the world, you shake it off. And all the pollutions of the world, you shake them off. And the yoke of the devil, the yoke of the world that is supposed to gag you down there, to tie you, to almost snuff a life out of you, that yoke, you shake it off. I shake it off. I shake it off. I shake it all. Look at Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1. Awake. It's not the time to sleep. Awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on the beautiful garment to Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee, into your life, into your family into your business, into your profession. They shall no more come into thee, the uncircumcised and the unclean. Look at verse 2 there. Verse 2, shake thyself from the dust. It's like the whole world, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, lying down in the dust. And then reptiles crawling over them, 
cockroaches crawling over them, the mosquitoes of the world everywhere, and the evil vultures of the world picking up all the good things in their lives, and then the old serpent is crawling all over them. Something at the back, something at the tummy. Now, the Lord said, the time of miracle change has now come. And the time of power manifestation has now come. And it says, awake, awake, shake thyself from the doors, arise and sit down. Now, you'll sit down later after standing up, after awakening, like the daughter of the king, like the son of the king. Loose thyself. From the bands of thy neck. They tied that thing on you as if you were a goat. As if you are an animal. And then the people of the world are dragging you here. And dragging you there. Enough is enough. Tonight, there's a new start. There's a new life. Tonight, there's new liberty. And tonight, there's deliverance in your life. In Jesus name thyself from the bands of thy neck O captive daughter of Zion my daughter you are not a captive anymore my son there you are not a captive anymore the time of deliverance has now come the time of salvation has now come Every sin you ever committed in your life, Christ is available now. He will forgive you. All that sin that the devil has been holding on to, uh, you are a sinner, you are guilty, you are bad, you are evil, you are the uh, uh, um, idol worshiper, you are this, you are that, and was accusing you today, you are free. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, shall be saved salvation has come Amen. who is serving that salvation salvation has come Amen. forgiveness has come Amen. who is serving that forgiveness freedom has come who is serving that freedom you are i said you are Amen. showers of blessing for you this is the day of your salvation. As you are raising up your hand, stand up as I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to pray for you now. Keep up that time. Father, in the name of Jesus, we well, thank you. This is the time of showers of blessing, showers of rain, showers of redemption. And you said, ask in a time of the latter rain. And that you will make the bright clouds. And you will bring showers to everyone. Therefore, Lord, all these here, there, online, in every congregation that receives your salvation now, grant them salvation in Jesus' name. Do the work in their hearts. Cleanse all their sins away. Take the power of sin and break that yoke of sin from their lives. Confirm their salvation, their redemption, eternal life in the heart of everyone now. Lord, it is done. We receive. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. It is done. I'm promised to cable. It was a very big testimonial. It happened on my stomach. Swell up. When I have a little bite, the tumor was as big as unimaginable something, and nobody thought I would survive it. 
I passed through a lot of pains due to my husband's condition. But my husband was suffering. I took him, I carried him, I know, I bet him. He could not be able to do anything. I see God. The breathing we will be breathing <sighs> very high. I was rushed to hospital. For a good three weeks, I could not pass phases, could not eat anything. No way, no solution. Until the global crusade power explosion that was held at Lagos. Because of this condition, I could not be able to attend the crusade while I was full of pains in the hospital. But it happened on 23rd, the third day of that program, that a brother came to the hospital with the GS flyer. I went to the, the crusade with the flyers. In my mind, I said, God, the God of Kumoji, as soon as I get to the hospital, I Given, because I've been hearing testimony about God delivering people through the flyers. So as soon as I get to the hospital, I saw my brother lying down helplessly. So I just placed the flyers on his tummy and then he held it back. That is just what happened. With the picture of that flyer, I was very excited and it was placed on my tummy. By then, before he came, the doctors has booked me for operation. But before the whole of the test to come out, the operation spiritually has taken place through the power of God from the man of God, W.F. Kumwe. The stomach went down. The toilet, I could not go for three whole weeks, started coming out. Before the doctors would come back for the operation, everything went down. They were marveled. And everybody was shouting in the hospital, what kind of God you serve? So it is the God of WF Kumoi. He has visited us. And that is how the operation cancelled. The tummy went down. Everything was okay. Really, the global crusade indeed has favored me in my life. I really return glory to God. Father, you're a good God, you're a loving God, you're a merciful God, and you're a mighty, powerful God. With you, all things are possible. You dried up the Red Sea, you will dry up that issue of blood. You made the Jericho walls to fall down and every swelling will fall down from the body of your children in Jesus' name. Now I send forth the power of the Lord upon your life. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Swelling of goiter and any other kind of swelling in your body. Come out in Jesus' name. Deaf, dumb, I pray the Lord will touch your ears right now. Touch your mouth right now. Your tongue right now. Hear and speak out in Jesus' name. Blind eyes, demon eyes, right now, the touch of the Lord is on your eyes. You will see. As we open our eyes, you will see clearly in Jesus' name. Every incurable disease, cancer, ulcer, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS, problems in the lungs or breathing or in your bone or your blood system. Be healed in Jesus' name. All the messengers of death that wanted to take your life 
I cancel that yoke. I remove that suffering in Jesus name. I pray Lord for those who are paralyzed or they have stroke or they have broken bones or they are lame in any way. I pray that your power will come upon them right now. Rise up and walk in Jesus name. Lord, I pray, whatever problem, whatever challenge, whatever sickness, whatever disease, touch everyone right now. Yeah. Right, left, center, far back, in those halls, everywhere, online, in every congregation, every stage, every nation, touch them, heal them now, in Jesus' name. Shake off the disease of the world out of their body. Make whole. Everyone. Everyone. Make them whole in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. I am the God that he left thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and I heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. This is God's word. I am the God. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the Global Crusade with Kumiyi. We're sure that this episode has been a great reminder of God's readiness to intervene in the matters of your soul and your life. We ask that you check us out at dclm.org forward slash connect. There are many resources to help you walk out this journey of faith, such as prayer and counseling, and books, and much more. Also, please connect with us via social media channels to share the testimonies and receive updates. Lastly, please share this video to spread about the word of the great God and the things that he is doing at this time. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of GCK Daily.